Guys, welcome back to another video. This is Code Forces Round 874 Div3, and the problem is Vlad building beautiful array. So the problem states that uh, you will be given uh, an array of n integers, and now uh, the Vlad wants to build a beautiful array b from it. How are they defining beautiful array b? Is all the numbers in the result should be of same parity and it should be greater than zero. Same parity means what? Either all of the numbers can be even or all of the numbers can be odd. So that is the thing. So from A, we need to derive to this all our natural numbers with either all are even or all are odd. To, know, to make this happen, they give you two options. Either you can uh, assign the same number from A to B or you can uh, subtract AI minus AJ. That means uh, it can be something like of this format. So suppose I have like A, B, C, sorry. Uh, so suppose I have something like uh, A1, A2, A3, etc. I want to make B1, B2, B3 such that either I can put the same number alone or I can put A1 minus A2 or A1 minus A3. Okay. Similarly for A2, what are the possibilities? Either you can put A2 or A2 minus A1, any number can come. Okay. Uh, A2 minus A3. So out of these three, anything can come, but at last all the numbers should have the same parity and it should not be zero or less than zero. It should all be greater than zero. That's all. Now, one thing is very clear, right? Uh, if A, if all are odd numbers, if all are odd numbers, I can directly put it, right? All are of same parity. So B is already constructed. B is all odd, it is satisfied. Now what if all are even numbers? If all are even numbers also, I can simply assign E, 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 everything, right? Now also B is constructed. But the problem comes when if it is odd, even, odd, 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 any mixed number, I need to bring it to same parity. So what do I do in such a case? So we have one thing called a subtraction. So uh, here, since they told always greater, I assume that the first number should be greater than the second number. Now, let's assume that uh, the first number, this is always greater than the second number, okay? So A greater than B. So if odd, this is an odd number minus an odd number, what will you get? Suppose three minus one, it will be an even number, right? Now, let's say that if it is uh, even minus even, it will be an even number. So if do we have to consider this case? This case is not required because if it is an even number, I can directly pull it to even. I'm not changing the state. Okay. If odd number means if I want to convert to even, I need an odd number to become even. If even number, I can directly put it. Now, what happens if it is even minus odd? Even minus odd will always give you an odd number. If it is even, I can search some other odd number from the array and I can convert it to odd. Similarly, odd minus even will give you an odd number. So if it is odd, if I want to make it as even, I need to subtract from an odd number. If I, it is even, I need and I want to make it as odd, I need to subtract with an odd number. And similarly, is this needed? Odd minus even equal to odd. This is also not needed, right? Because if it is odd, it can directly be pushed to it. So these are the only two cases. If it is odd and convert means I subtract from an odd number. If it is even, I want to convert it to odd means I will subtract from an odd number. Now, let's consider this case. Odd, even, these are all the numbers, okay? I'm just checking the parity. I'm not considering numbers here. So uh, let's simply take two cases. Let's assume that if can we make everything as odd, okay? So everything as odd means we can directly put odd here, we can directly put odd here, we can directly put odd here, we can directly put odd here. If even wants to become as odd, I need to find an odd number that is less than this even number and subtract it. Then E minus this odd, minus this odd, or minus this odd, or minus this odd, any odd if it subtracts and becomes a positive number, this can be odd. And similarly for this also, if it is able to subtract any odd number, I can make it as odd, okay? Similarly, let's say for O, E, O, O, E, O. I want to consider a position where all numbers can be made as even or not. Okay, even I can directly pull it from the thing and odd wants to become means even means what should I do? Odd minus odd. Odd should subtract from another odd number. So this should subtract from some other odd number. Then it becomes what? It becomes an even number. This, if it is possible to subtract to become positive, it all becomes an even number. Now, I just can't go ahead and uh, take all the odd numbers and keep subtracting it, right? By, because the numbers are so huge, it becomes of n square complexity. So what is the optimal way? The first number is always the greater one and the second number can be less than the first number. So what do I do? The optimal way is 
I assume that this is the largest number, I mean this number, and I'll take the minimum number in the odd and minimum number in the even. So if this is an odd number, this number can be a minimum number, right? If it is a minimum number, then this min odd comes here. Okay, this can be, let's assume this one. So this one comes here. So min naught, this odd minus min naught, it is uh, even. Now all minus so it is zero, so this is not possible. But in this case, even might be possible or no chance might be there. So we can do something like this. Now let's see how did we code it. So we assumed that what are all the odd minimum and we are what are all the even minimum is there. Then this one, if it is even, I can directly pull, right? If it is even, I can directly pull. Now what is this one? If v of i mod 2 equal to equal to 0, if it is not equal to 0, this means that this condition is odd. Now, if odd is greater than odd minimum means, I am telling that odd can be subtracted from this to form a positive number. So one more even is possible. So I am considering for all possibilities. So I get, uh, I get some number even possible plus plus. Similarly, if it is odd possible, what do I do? I do, I count all the odd numbers. Now, if it is even number, what do I do? Even minus odd will always give me a positive odd number considering even is greater. Now odd possible also plus plus. Now what happens? You also counted odd possibilities. Now finally I'm checking uh, this odd possibilities covered all numbers or not and even possibilities covered all numbers or not. If any of the possibility is covered, I simply put yes. And if any of the possibility is not covered, I simply put as no. So one more thing is like uh, if odd minimum, if odd is same, right? If odd minimum and odd is same, this is not gonna possible in an even scenario. Okay, so something like if odd minus odd comes, it's zero and even minus even comes, it's zero, right? If it is same number, it becomes zero. In that case, it's not possible. So here we are checking for two conditions and two possibilities. If it works, then it is fine. Now uh, let's see something like example. So here they told 26843, this is not possible because uh, these are all even numbers. Odd is the smallest number. So can you make this or uh, can you make this odd as an even number? You can't make it right because you need one more odd here. So that's why it's not possible. Can you make it all as odd numbers? So three here. Four minus three is one. Eight minus three is one. Uh, sorry, eight minus three, uh, five, and six minus three. Again three. Two minus three is negative. So it's not possible. You got right we are uh, checking this greater than symbol if it is it should be greater then only we'll be able to solve this now check this case one four seven six nine all can be odd numbers no four minus one one uh, one i'll directly put four minus one is three seven is directly odd number i'll put it six minus one again nine minus one all are odd number nine can be directly put six minus one is an odd number Two four uh, two six four ten all are even numbers, so I don't have to consider everything will be an even number. Similarly, you can try it for both, uh, and uh, that's all. So this is also a valid case, right? Two one two four two. Can I make everything as even? I can't make everything as even because there is no number less than one. Can I make everything as odd? It is possible. Two minus one is one. One I can directly put it down. Two four two. Similarly for here, let's say two five five four. So can I make all as odd number? Five is odd. Five is odd. I can put directly five five. Then four minus something, four, even minus odd only can give me odd number. Odd number does not exist, that is less than four. So odd is not possible. Can I make everything as even? Two is there, four is there, I'll directly put. In order to make odd as uh, an even number, five, there should be some odd number that is less than five. That is not available, so it's no. So that's all guys. So uh, this is the code, this is submitted solution. So I'll link it in the description. And if you have any doubts, just ping me on the comments. And uh, so if you use this right you can directly check uh, if the odd minimum is there you can directly put yes or no so something like this there so but here the time complexity states that it's only till 10 power 5 and a value is 10 power 9 so it's very much evident that we can try both the possibilities and if both the possibilities one of them exists then we can simply do so we are just making things simple and trivial here so that's all guys uh, see you in the next video